Hello, Libra. Welcome to your love reading. Let's see. Let's get right into this reading. The message from your person is we should have used protection. We should have used protection. Okay, so that could be, you know, the sexual way. But something is telling me that, that somebody was not... It's like they went in unprotected. They went in. Somebody went in unguarded without their guards. And there's a person who feels like that they should have used some type of protection. They should have used some type of guard. I'm getting also like you caught someone off guard. Um, there's also without warning. Something happened without warning. But we should have used protection. We should have used protection. What is coming through for Libra? What's coming through for Libra in love? I fear you'll never forgive me. I feel like your person has done something or they wish you could have used protection or they wish that something didn't hurt deep, okay? Something could have penetrated deep and they feel like that now is no covering, it's, it's no coming back for something. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. I miss you. I fear you'll never forgive me. I remember. We should have used protection. We both should have protected our hearts. This person is definitely thinking about you. They feel like, I feel like both of you guys got hurt in a situation, in a love relationship. It's like we should have protected our hearts. We should have protected ourselves. Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. Hmm. And this is also given like, it's also given that 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 same lame excuse like we should have or you you knew what it was before you decided to or we both should have had a deeper understanding of what the bond was before we decided to expose ourselves to each other. I felt like there's a person, there's a love relationship that got deep, got close, really really deep. And there's a lot of hurt too. Your person feels like you'll never forgive them. Your person is thinking about all the laughs and all the talking and everything that you used to, you used to do. Um, how much you used to talk for hours. Yeah, there was something deep there. There was no guard. Like both people had let their guards down. I'm guessing that this person haven't let their guard down with you or it's been a long time. Or haven't let their guard down since you or before you or it's been a long time since. Something is also feeling like the first time. It's almost like they felt something. Also, like when you don't use protection, it feels totally different. Like this was totally different. Usually the other love, like there's a bound, there's a barrier between you and this person. But it was flesh to flesh, skin to skin, to skin heart to heart. Like something should have been... As, as your person looked back on everything, your person could be regretting opening, opening themselves up the way that they did. They could feel like you look at them a certain, a different type of way because they were very, very vulnerable with you. Um, they feel like that they should have protected themselves. Not only you should have protected yourself, but they should have protected themselves too. Um, there was no type of guard up. For some of you guys, you may have thought that you found a person and they told you everything and it was just so open and you could tell them everything and it was just nothing. Like there was no type of protection between someone felt completely safe in your presence and you felt completely, completely safe in their presence. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a big step. A big step of um, taking accountability. Your person feels like, listen, I did this and I regret what I did. And not only did they do something, but they've also gotten hurt too in the process. They regret it. They feel like that you'll never forget. I feel like as as accountability is taking, is getting on them, as they remove the hurt, because I do feel like your person went into this, into this thing without no without any guards 
they felt completely safe. You made a person feel completely safe, completely heard, completely seen. They sabotage it, sabotaged it with their own actions, their own thoughts, their own beliefs. It says things move so fast. I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. Mm. So they sabotaged it. This person could have made something. Um, this person could have made an abrupt ending. The distance between us doesn't feel good. They feel like they are, they're blaming themselves for the distance that is between you guys. Things move so fast because no one had a mask on. I feel like both parties didn't think that something was going to be as dynamic or something was going to last as long or something like that. And they didn't know how to trust themselves falling. Once they noticed they were falling deep, once they noticed how deep they were in, they felt like that, well, maybe, um, maybe I'm the only one with these feelings. Maybe it's just me. Matter of fact, let me. Yeah, they feeling like maybe it's just me with these feelings. Maybe I'm the one that has these feelings here. Maybe this person doesn't feel the same way that I feel. Okay. And they went in without any type of protection, any type of guard. All right. Uh, you're so smart. It says your intellect turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy. I, this person really, really misses talking to you. They miss speaking to you. They miss talking to you. They miss they miss picking your brain, the conversations. I feel like somebody got lost in your mind. Like you they you opened up your mind to them and they really got lost in it. It was not it's not about it's not sexual, even though I feel like there could have been some type of fire. This was a real a real connection. Yeah, this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together soon. Something isn't it isn't isn't goodbye, but there is a lot of space between you and this person. You may not be. Now I do feel like I was about to say you may not even be um, privy to who you had this connection with, but it says we should have used protection. Both people were hit. Um, this was a flesh to flesh, skin skin to skin. Um, really good relationship, really close relationship. I feel like you can talk to this person about anything and they can talk to you about anything. They haven't met a person they can do that with yet since you. Oh, wow. Wow. They're going to contact you soon. They're thinking about contacting you soon. They kind of don't know about how they feel about the connection. They don't know about how they feel anymore. They don't know. Um, if something is unclear. Something is unclear to them. I feel like this person needs answers. You're with a person who definitely needs some type of answers. Um, they're finding themselves. They are going through this type of energy where they are finding themselves. They need space to figure things out. I feel like they got some type of, they have really got into a relationship um, where they, They didn't protect themselves like they usually do. You didn't protect yourself like you, you like you usually do. You went all in. Your heart was all open. And I feel like Spirit could have both called you guys to each other because both of you guys were in that same state. So you got what you what you are. You were ready. Your heart was open and you were ready. It was like a 
a careless, not even a careless, but a, a fearless act of you being like, you know what, I'm just going to love fearlessly. And that person said, you know what, I'm just going to love fearlessly. Um, I do also feel like you could have made a pact to do something differently. Like in this relationship, you did something differently than you've done in your previous relationships. Well, in this relationships, that person did something that um, different than what they've previously done. You think that this is how this person shows up to relationships and they think this is how you show up to relationships. But it really, in all actuality, both of you guys were testing you were testing how it felt to, to love fully with like no guards because a lot of you guys kind of love with guards up. Um, you are in love, but you still have guards to how much of yourself that you're going to be that, that you're going to let be seen. It looks like the guards, there was absolutely no, absolutely nothing. And you know what happens. It's like the first, when you take that protection off and you feel that you feel how real that thing feel it's going to be hard for you to put that protection back on. So a person can't have you like, I feel like there's a person who they, they, they experience what it really feels like to have your heart like real, to touch your heart, to be close to you. And they can't have this made, they, they can't have, um, they can't have the, you with the barrier in between. They need the real thing. They need to feel flesh to flesh, skin to skin, sensation to sensation, okay? <laughs> All right, let's close it out. Let's close it out. All right, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like both parties are still into this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know because they scared the shit out of you. That's why you don't know. It scared the shit out of you how open you can be with the person, how deep in love you could fall with the person so fast. And you don't know if you have it in yourself to do it that way anymore or something like that. The chemistry is crazy. For some of you guys, this is your person. No one has measured up. No one has measured up to this person. This is that one. And the more and more that you keep on saying, well, no, I can't. Or that was just, that just happened because that's the more and more you keep pushing this thing um, away from you. Clearly decide what you want. Not even what you want, what you deserve. You deserve that feeling of closeness again. You deserve that real feeling again. All right, what else? What else? What else? Pay attention to these red flags. All right. Signs are cautioning you. Signs are cautioning you. Someone has some type of control issues. There's a need either for you or your person. There's a need for these control issues to be discussed. Um, whether a person is, I feel like this is your person. They feel so deep that they had to know your every move, every hour, what's going on, what's happening. You have that effect on people. You have that effect where if a person... A person is not, like, they need to know where you are. They need to know. Like, it's like, think of it this way. It's like a man and his money, okay? They need to know what's happening with their money at all times, okay? It just don't sit well if they don't know the status of what's going on, what's happening. I do feel like there's a person who was really, really controlling, whether it was you whether you, you felt like, you know, I have to control this. I've never felt this way before. I have to make sure. I have to snoop around. I have to see what this person is doing. I need to know. I need to know. Maybe some of you guys were clingy, um, really, really clingy in the situation. And this other person was really, really controlling in the situation. Um, so there's a red flag that you do need to pay. I feel like there's a, a, tent, a, um, a conversation that needs to happen. I also felt like this, the, they felt, they felt that, yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve love. 
I feel like for some of you guys, this is why you felt this explosive love relationship that felt like flesh to flesh, skin to skin, no protection, no gods, no barriers. It's just you and your person together intertwining. It's because you are at a point where spirit, the angels, they decided that you deserve the love of a person who was going to open up their heart and meet you the same way you were going to meet them. You deserve the love that wasn't going to be guarded, that was going to let you be yourself, that you felt safe. Also, your person deserved a love where they felt safe, they felt seen. And it's something, this is, this is going to be a feeling that a person never forgets. You never forget. What else? What else? You are lovable. Know that you are lovable. Let go of control issues. Cupid's arrow has already been shot. No matter, it's like no, no amount of time. Time doesn't exist when it comes to you. No amount of time even exists when it comes to this bond, this person, this relationship. Let go of control issues. It's in the hands of the angels. Cupid has already shot the arrow. It's already done. You can't control this bond. This person has already felt it. You've already felt it. All right. And last but not least, what do we have? Okay, ooh. So there's an X here. Or that this person is going to be an X. You might be seeing, I just heard, yeah, they got a little boyfriend or a little girlfriend. You know how you know how people say that. There's an X. It's time has come to clear your energy. This person is gonna come through and clear. There may be a person, like I said, there is no guard between you. Nothing can stand in between of you. And this is because the, like the, the message is you should have used protection. If you had shown up to this relationship protected and guarded, maybe it wouldn't be this big. Maybe it wouldn't be this, this deep. But the fact that you showed up to this relationship fully open and this other person showed up fully open with you, both people in alignment at the same time right there, that's a spiritual connection. So there may be something between you two. There may be an ex or, or a person that you're seeing right now. They're like, release that. Because someone's coming in hard. This love is ascending to this next level. And the next level is going to be an engagement. Or it's going to be an actual commitment. It's going to be a level that you didn't... If you were with this person, then maybe y'all was in a situationship or something. But it was like a real situationship. The next time your person is going to be hell-bent on making you guys in a committed relationship. If you guys were in a relationship, then you're going to this next level, which could be an engagement. If you guys were engaged, then of course you guys are going to be walking down the aisle. You're going to get, be getting married. It's going to a higher level of commitment. And this person is going to come and clear out this energy or you're going to come and clear out this energy. But it's like, it doesn't even matter what you're doing right now. There could be somebody that you're entertaining right now, but it doesn't, it doesn't come close. Your person's still cocky like that. Okay. It doesn't come close. It doesn't come close to them. All right. Not with what they're trying to do or not with what you guys experienced or what you guys had. Let me see. All right, let's get some love. Get some love, Oracle. If this is resonating with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. We should have used protection. 
Libra. I told you, Cupid's arrow has already romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. <laughs> Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. Let go of control. Somebody has this control issue. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. All right. So no point in the fingers. No blame game here. Both people hurt each other. Um, no blame game accountability because your person is taking accountability with themselves So I feel like if you come up to the relationship and taking accountability, it's going to encourage Your person to continue to take accountability um, But Cupid's arrow has already striked There's nothing that can stand in between you two This is a flesh to flesh, heart to heart connection, no guards, fully free, fully open. All right. I'm going to leave your reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.